Okay, yeah, uh, big story today is this weather, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's September, but that doesn't mean we can't have heat waves. Yeah, the heat it's is kinda, on. Kind of like in March when people say, oh, you know, we, we officially consider March spring, but you can get yeah. snow in March that's or true. April, yeah. that's definitely spring, so yeah. we, we can get hot weather, even in the early October, it's rare, but it does happen once in a while in early October. This red area, that's the lower elevations of southwest Washington and western Oregon, and the uh, Cascade foothills as well. Excessive heat warning means too much heat coming up. Uh, this is for tomorrow afternoon, starting at midday tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon through Friday, then Saturday, the heat backs off to more typical stuff for this time of the year. A heat advisory, kind of a lesser version of that, the orange areas in the coast range, and the rest of western Washington, all of eastern Washington, and a good chunk of eastern Oregon. The heat is just not going to be extreme east of the Cascades. All right, so how long and how hot? We've got a four-day heat wave. It has arrived. Today was day number one, which means that we have three more hot days. It's going to peak tomorrow and Friday afternoons. Uh, dry east wind does return. Nothing like what we had either in 2017 that fueled that gorge fire on this date or the Eagle Creek fire or uh, the 2020 fires. It's not like that. Just more of a typical breezy east wind that we had last week. Notice there's no talk of public power safety shutoffs. So that's good. Uh, upcoming weekend looks pretty reasonable, mainly sunny. Might be around 90 or so still on Saturday. Then we're going to stay in the 80s on Sunday. So it's going to be more of a summery weekend, but nothing extreme. Notice the uh, smoky sky has extended to the coastline there. I do not expect significant low-level smoke over the next two days west of the Cascades, but we're going to stay with this hazy stuff. Uh, that's the Wyoming Valley Vineyards. It's uh, just under 90 there. So we have very strong high pressure overhead. A little stronger than we sometimes get this time of the year. Since it's right overhead, it really suppresses the marine layer. The atmosphere is pretty hot overhead, but then that also keeps any cooling from coming in off the ocean. In fact, here's the wind forecast, 7 a.m. tomorrow. So by morning, the easterly wind is pushing into the east side of the metro area. Those of you that keep the breeze blowing tonight or tomorrow night, uh, west slopes of the Cascades or the Western Gorge, you're going to stay in the 70s tonight. The rest of us dip well down in the 60s, but you see how it spreads into the usual east wind spots, east metro. This is midday tomorrow, then it backs off tomorrow night. I don't expect significant wind on Friday, but it'll still be plenty hot Friday. So as for the cloud cover forecast, wow, sunny skies. Our model, like I said, today, it, it looks like it's going to end up being about 4 degrees to hot. It was forecasting too warm. It's going 101 tomorrow, so will it really only be 97, 98? I don't think so. We're going to go with 100, but notice the north coast will be briefly hot tomorrow afternoon. Then the onshore flow returns on Friday, so the coast on Friday, much better. 60s and 70s, some patchy low clouds. We'll get a few high clouds Friday afternoon, but I still think we'll make it to 100, and then much better on Saturday. By midday Saturday, we're about 80, and we should top out around 90 or so Saturday. So, first alert weather day tomorrow. It's September, though, which means temperatures go way down at night and they come way up during the day in this pattern. So uh, I wouldn't call it first alert conditions at 8 a.m. or noon. I plan to be outside working in the yard or riding my bike. And then after the noon, noon hour, that's when it gets really hot. Again, I think we'll top out about 100. Three-day forecast, pretty much the same Friday. Saturday's a little more reasonable. Some fire smoke at times, but not too thick. And then you see Sunday, ah, kind of nice, 85, low 80s Monday. And eventually a lot of clouds and showers going to feel like September, the middle of next week. Hey, we've got more news. With